A lot of energy here at the show or at opening night. Maybe you can talk a little bit about what surfing does for Sequoia and some of the things you're going to have on display here for folks. Well, I started actually when it was American Electroplating Society back in 1965. My husband, Ed Swindle, was the one who founded the first school that they ever had for electroplating. So he hired Mort Schwartz, and that was the first electroplater school they ever had. Then in 1970, I took over his business. He actually invented this non-adhesive tape, which if any of you are in selective plating and you've been around doing especially hard chrome, this was developed for Boeing aircraft. And this was for use in their hard chrome because there was nothing available that didn't have adhesive. Everything with adhesive would leave residue. We came out with this product, or I should say Ed did. You can wrap two to three times faster than you can with a regular tape. And I've got no folks, I can't pull it anymore. Good quality product. Well, it's a good quality product. Three to three and a half mils thick. You can see through the tape for trimming. They use it in abrasive blasting. They use it in selective plating. As I say, we developed it for hard chrome in Boeing aircraft. It's written in all their mill specs. In fact, they put out a mill spec saying, under no circumstances shall you use an adhesive tape on a circular part where you can use non-adhesive. And that's because it costs about one-tenth what adhesive costs. You absolutely don't even look for residue on your part. And it's the same thing as your plating tank is lined with, it's PVC. So it will hold up indefinitely. And then in 1970, Ed had a heart attack. And any of you that's been in the business for years knows that I used to come around in our little motor home and I made the sales calls. And then I found a need for a adhesive tape that would work for inside diameter. So I took our PVC, made it a thicker material, put a high car unit in type of adhesive on here. So you don't get any residue on your parts. They use it for all kinds of plating as well as blasting, abrasive blasting. And a company I just spoke with in, te in Texas, I won't mention a name because I didn't ask him, but he did tell me that they're, they've gone over to anodize only, and they're using this tape in uh, hard anodize, which previous to us, no one had had anything because it would uh, reverse current, would push the tape off. So with our tape, it holds beautifully, in fact, um, Norfolk Naval Air Station claims they could do stencil lettering with this if they wanted to. Wow. I was going to show you, there's a picture. This is a letter taken, written by Delta Airlines. They authorized our use of their name. They actually took photographs for us showing using our tape in abrasive blast and no residue on the screen from our tapes, residue from 28 other products they tried. And then they're showing the tape that I developed, the SC1 with adhesive, one layer for, this is for, I'm gonna have to look it up now. This is for uh, shot painting on the aircraft engine. One layer, they overlap just a little bit to top layer sacrificed. And as you know, if having been in business since 1960, about 62, when Ed started it, if you don't have good quality control, you don't offer an equal product at at least an equal price or a better price, you don't keep the business. And if you don't have a good product, you're not going to be selling it. And you couldn't stay around this many years. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, quality is one of those things, it's, it's easy to say and easy to talk about, but it really has to be embedded within a culture of a company to really come through. What are some things that Sequoia has done to really help that importance and that focus on quality permeate through the years? We, one of our um, major people in the company, 
We keep a roll of the original product in our safe. Every time a, a batch gets made, we check it with the original sample because there can always be a slight variation. Your color will vary at times. There can be slight variations, that's allowed. But if it doesn't meet up to the standard of our original product, then we don't ship it. Carly, thank you so much for the time. It was a real thank delight you. It's been my uh, talking to you. Thanks so much.